32 against VCU and 23 against Seton Hall. And we are underway tonight. Right away, you see the pace the Hokies like to play with, Dave. Penn State wants to make it a track meet. Hokies want to make your work defensively. Beatty out of the corner. Well, Bisa Beatty, the six-foot graduate, and probably their best defender, but he can also get in and score too. Penn State very quickly gets their first bucket and still won the ball game against VMI nonetheless. And terrific defense on the interior, at least for a moment on the block. And a team that can do their work inside the arc. You mentioned the poor shooting. Some shooting woes as of late for the Hokies, but finding ways to win without relying on a three-point shot has been the evolution. They get downstairs to Buttrick, the 6'8 senior. Some of the size for the Nittany Lions. Brockington will knock that one down. Early on here, shoot themselves in the foot, empty possessions because of recklessness with the basket. And also leaving open a wide open shooter to knock in the basket. Got away from defending, gave up a lot in the painted area. Some poor shots down the stretch. Ultimately, they're undoing for Seed Hall. Three pointer on target from the corner. Shot clock a factor down to five. Wow. A factor only for a moment, but that one all net. To stop a 17 nothing run by Penn State. They have come out of the gate hot here tonight. Three-pointer on target. Told you, Dave, it may be forced to give Jalen Cohn extended minutes here, uh, despite the fact there's some rust, because they're going to need that firepower. A good ball movement by Penn State. They have won five of their last six ACC Big Ten Challenge games, and now all of a sudden, they're coming alive a little bit because Jalen Cohn has come off the bench fire. The ball came in averaging 13 points a game. Strong drive, but he's denied. Now the Hokies get it up in transition. The turnovers have hurt them, leading to a quick strike by Sessoms on the other end. He's got it out beyond the three. Shot clock inside 10. He's going to drive it. Got a nice pass off for two. Outstanding feed. Get it back to Cole. I mean, he's been the catalyst. Generated eight points, two off threes, and the triple drive because they had to respect the jump shot. Yes, sir. Knocking down another one. Really taking the baseline, long jumper, yes. A nice sweet touch. Couldn't be going any better for the Nittany Lions. Oh, thank you. Oh. Close, what a tough move that was in one. Penn State. And look at that, opportunistic on the drive. Jada, that's what he brings. He's Wheeler trying to drive it. Boy, what a tough angle he took. And got that one to go nonetheless. A pretty play there by Jamari Wheeler. Talk, talk to Coach Ferry before the game and said, what do you got to do to win? He said, defend and rebound. I think he mentioned his hot shooting start. Brockington to the baseline. Jump around the way. And yes, they continue to knock down the long-range shots. It's just smart basketball. Brockington gets into the lane. Cone gets caught watching. Jones catch and shoot guy jumped the bleeding. Shot clock expiring and a shot of three pointer on target. He got it off apparently in time. 31 18. Penn State not wasting any time. Brockington on the other end. He's had a fine first half. Driving kick, and that's been the undoing defensively for the Hope. So a well-designed play for the Hokies. Jones will back it out. Under four to go in the half. And a pull-up pop, nothing but that. Talk about a sweet touch. Dredd will let it fly. Big fight for the rebound, and Harris just out-muscled everybody else. Rolling to the basket, ain't it an easy two? Another very well-designed play. My, my NBA dosage right about now. I'm with you. Miller gives it up, long jumper, and a sweet one indeed. With about a minute to go in the opening half here in Blacksburg. A tough bank shot, that's gonna drop in. Rockington had a hot hand. 
and continues that pattern here to the second half. That's why you say about the only battle. And still looking like he can come off that bench and drop in 25. Uh, still got minutes, I agree. He had barely called his name except for the open. 6'9", Junior with a basket, 44 to 27, his first two. And a rebound picked off by Sessoms, here they come again. Brockington, yes! Well, they can't stop him, that's a three on the money. These last few games where you said, okay, the Hokies are winning, not making threes, but against the really good teams, they're going to be able to do that. Tonight, they most certainly have not. Brockington zipping a pass and they'll kick it back and they've been doing that all night long outside the sense of urgency nothing is sat right with them those few sleeps after that scene hall loss Media and he's going to give it off and a very tough shot with that left hand yes beautifully done and the Nittany Lions have hit five of their last six triples Jones for two been that way since Jump Street and they're playing tremendous defense as well. They have all night long. Well, not trying to over themselves. And raining threes. There's Jones again. But they're playing great basketball tonight and kind of embarrassing the Hokies on their home floor. Certainly to this point, that's one way to get back in the contest. I can't go and say it enough again. One turnover, your leading score average is 22 a game, and Seth Lundy has not scored. And you are cruising with a 24-point push. And a lot of heart. It's three guys for the Hokies rebounding defensively there. And dreaded 6-4 comes away with a rebound. Hamilton has it rolling in Tallahassee. Long jumper on the way, and that is all met. One of the better offensive moments of the night, certainly for the Hokies. Came easy on that possession for the Hokies. Sessions with the bounce and gave it away. On the run, great right, tough catch, but up and in for two. One hundred percent of what you give goes to cancer research. 64-41. And if you want to know if Coach Ferry has these guys in line, turn on the tape of this game in the first half. This is a team that was itching to get back out there. I mean, I'm seeing on the bottom line on all ESPN platforms, James Hart wants to go to the Sixers. It might be this team in Pennsylvania that he wants to go play for. They've allowed in about 250 friends and family of the Hokies players here tonight. That's all for the live crowd. And that's going to roll in a sweet touch there. Brockington has had just an outstanding ball game. A drop and Brockington is there for the rebound. Penn State wants to push it. Passed up three to the corner and right on the money for the three-pointer. They have been deadly out there tonight. It's dread again. When you look at Virginia, 97 votes. Obviously the favorite by a heavy margin, at least by the media and the preseason voting. Just are talking about that all over the place. Like, I don't know how good my team is. I haven't seen them play anybody else. Yeah, absolutely. Is. It's almost one of those games where the Hokies had a blueprint to success, but everything got thrown out the door with that massive lead. Against Virginia Tech, who had previously been undefeated, ranked number 15 in the country. Penn State about to go to 3-1 and one on the season. And Virginia Tech to fall to 4-1. and one. Making that history, and they sail out of Blacksburg, feeling really good about themselves. 75-55, the final score tonight here in the ACC Big Ten Challenge.